So now let's go to the uh, Vancouver Canucks, who had 83 points last season in the uh, in the Pacific Division, uh, which put them 17 behind uh, fourth place Seattle. So lots of lots of ground to make up for the Vancouver Canucks if we assume Seattle's a hundred point team, and we can debate that. So and 12 um, back of the playoffs. Yes, and uh, you look at the uh, Canucks, and they made some significant moves, right? As uh, obviously they. Uh, they bought out uh, Oliver Ekman Larson, and this year it's a buyout that makes tons of sense because he's got like 146k on the cap. In three years, there's two, you know, year three and four of that buyout, 4.7. You know, they might not be loving it, but I understood why they did it. So look at overall top to bottom when you look at the Canucks. What do you see? Playoff team. I'm, I'm, I think them in Calgary and Seattle. It's. And, you know, they're battling for the third and fourth, I mean, the fourth and fifth spot, because I do believe five teams in the Pacific are going to make it this year. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I think those are the three teams right there. Um, what order they finish in, I think you can just flip a coin right now to start the year. Um, that means one of those teams is going to be out, though. One of Calgary, Vancouver, or Seattle, I think, is out. Yes. And I think it's, I personally think it's Seattle, but we'll get to them in a second. Um, I just like the changes Vancouver made. I've talked about this before. Um, their back end is so totally different than if you look at their back end to open last season. It just, oh. it, it's, you now have true bona fide, competent NHL defensemen. And, when you're asking Ethan Bear and Jack Rathbone and all these other guys to do stuff last year, um, that's Kyle Burrows. Like, not I'm not knocking guy. It's just you. You were asking a lot. Ethan Bear played 61 games last year. Yeah, he played 18 and a half minutes. So Ethan Bear, Luke Shen, who played 55, Ekman Larson, who played 54, Kyle Burrows, who played 48. They were third. Riley to... Stillman played 32. Yeah. So they were the, the, the number three to number seven defense when they're gone. Quinn Hughes and Tyler Myers are uh, still here. They, they brought in Philip Ronick, but he only played four games last year. So he's yeah, don't overlook new... a full season of him. Yes. Carson Soucy, Ian Cole, and then uh, Rathbone, who only played 11 games last year, him and Matt Irwin look like they're going to battle for the number six spot on the, uh, on the back end. Right. And, and that's their defense. But it's, you know, if you look at their top five, you know, 60 percent of their top five is new in Heronic, Susie and Cole. So that's that's a significant change. Yeah. Heronic should be. So his career average is 42 points a season. He's at, he averages a half point per game. A little more than that. Yeah. So you get a full year from him. Susie adds some real size and. You then have Ian Cole, who we talked to on Frankly Speaking. I, I highly recommend you check out the interview, and not just because I did it, but because the insight from Cole, I think, was tremendous. He was saying the reason he ended up signing in Vancouver is because he got a real pitch and sense from Jim Rutherford and Patrick Alvin, who he played for in Pittsburgh and won two Stanley Cups, that they're sick of losing. That was the pitch. We're sick of it. And you can tell when you go there, as I stopped in Vancouver last week, that they, that they truly are sick of losing and that yeah. it's time to make a statement. 